Aubergine parmigiana is one of the dishes that takes me back to childhood. When I was little, I used to nag my mother to cook it, even in extremely hot weather. In our beautiful country, everyone has their own version, but this one here is mine, and I'm from Naples. Are you ready? Let's fry. For our parmigiana, we need tomato puree, pepper, salt, oil for frying, extra virgin olive oil, onion, fior di latte cheese, parmesan, basil, and coarse salt, and of course aubergine, main ingredient of this recipe. In Naples, we usually use the long thin ones, well with this kind, it will be quicker and equally good. Let's go cut them. I'll remove the petiole from the aubergine that I've already washed and dried. Then the mandolin slicer will help me get slices of roughly 4-5 millimeters. Little by little, I place the slices in the colander and sprinkle them with coarse salt to purge them, since water is slightly bitter. It wouldn't help fry well. I can put the last lasses and then cover them with weight. Purging will take about an hour, so in the meantime I can take care of the fior di latte that I am going to dice. In many regions of Italy, other types of cheese are used. For example, in Sicily, cacio cavallo, but being from Naples, I prefer fior di latte. Or alternatively, I could use a smoked mozzarella, which we call avrola. And I put them to drain in the colander. I continue with the rest of the mozzarella. Let's move on to the tomato sauce. In a large casserole, I pour a trickle of oil. Just a drop because the aubergines are already very rich. Then I add the chopped onion. I let it sizzle for a few moments while stirring. If you are one of those who correct the acidity of tomato with sugar, I'll tell you another trick, much simpler and natural. Just add plenty of onion. It's time to add the puree. Since I need just a little water, I put it in the jug, so I take advantage to clean it of the sauce that didn't come out. I add some salt. I let the sauce cook for three quarters of an hour on a low heat, and only at the end of cooking I will perfume it with a hand-torn bezel. But only at the end, because it becomes bitter if cooked. I washed and dried the first aubergines that obviously, as I told you, have already been purged. Oil is at 170 degrees, the ideal temperature for frying because they will not become too golden, remaining raw inside, and will not become too soggy. It's better to wash aubergines a few at a time, otherwise they will turn black. So proceed with the portion you need from time to time. Some would dip aubergines in egg first, in egg and then flour, or only in flour, then some would even butter them. But I suggest the simplest version, and in my opinion, even the lightest, which is without any butter. And another two, three minutes of cooking, the aubergines are ready. I drain the first ones. and continue like this with all the others. Aubergines are all fried and dried of excess oil. The tomato sauce is reduced and the fior di latte drained too. 
We just have to move on to the conversation. A stay with sauce, a 20 30 centimeters glass dish. A nice spoonful in the middle. So they won't stick to the bottom. And now you can start at distributing the aubergines. I lay them horizontally first. Then a grind of pepper, parmesan cheese. You can overdo it, as it will be nicer. And the cubes of fior di latte. Mind, you need to distribute them properly, or else you will risk filling only the center, all the sides. For example, my father always prefers the middle part. Who knows why? And then a little more sauce, just now to stain them. And now go on forming another layer of aubergines, only this time vertically. To compact the layers, we press them lightly with our hands. And now another layer with all the ingredients. In the richer versions, there are additions like uh, ham, hard-boiled eggs or bitten eggs. The latter will make the whole thing more compact and even more golden and tasty. I'll finish off the last layer firstly by pouring all the tomato sauce. The grated cheese. This will form a delicious crust on the surface. And finally, the last cubes of fior di latte. And last, it's time for the oven. Preheat it in static mode to 200 degrees for 40 minutes. Mind if you notice that the surface is darkening too quickly, cover it with a tin foil. I'll give you advice. Do the same thing also with a dripping pan or with the base of the oven. This way, if something drips, the sauce in this case, we will not have to scrub it for hours. The richness of this dish is really unbeatable. I'm sure that every family passes on its version, but meanwhile, I recommend you try mine the here at Giallo Zafferano, it's already popular. Did this aubergine parmigiana make you hungry? Cook it yourself and let me know.